Hi guys, welcome. I have written down a learning path, the learning phases, and I've named it it's here Arklinx University. Of course, there's nothing official about it. There is no university and there is no uh, a diploma at the end. But it depicts that it's not going to be a journey of a week or a month. It's going to be a journey of years. And it also shows that it's going to be in depth. You can start with mailing and browsing and listening to music, but it can go so much further than that. So that's why it's called Arctic University, because, well, you know by now that I'm a teacher at the university and I just want to share knowledge via a project called Arctic the other day and uh, many days or, or many years before that, I mean, people ask, where do I start? Now we have menus in our websites and it says start here. I mean, couldn't be any clearer, start here. So that's what you really need. And then you go look into some things like kernels or Nvidia things or printers and sound something you specifically want to learn. So. That's covered, I would think, but there is so there are 26 ISOs, 22 desktops. With what ISO should I start? All that as well has been explained more or less in the downloads with a nice infographic where we find this information, right? So this would give already an idea what you want, but very concrete, very in, in split up in phases, how would I approach someone? So that, that was in my head when I wrote this down. How would I help someone who comes from Windows or Mac, doesn't matter, and comes to Linux for the very first time, never set foot into uh, the Linux world yet. So that is what is, what is um, in here, phases one is try out the Arcolix XL. Well, actually I skipped this part, which is actually an important part. We recommend you do a lot of clean installs. You will break your system, that's normal. We've all been there and um, fine, no problem. Then 50 minutes later, you're back with a newly installed OS. So we've done it plenty of times, break our systems and woof, everything gone again, up and 50 minutes later, we've got, um, everything back up and running. There is lots of websites, we've shown them already in the forum, but we do seem to have people who are not subscribed to the YouTube channel. That means that we communicate with Discord, with Telegram and with via YouTube. That's just the way where we put our videos, right? To solve issues like, for example, this better lock screen we had a few weeks back. And a month later, people still ask that question, right? So subscribe to YouTube because there, well, we host our videos and of course the articles are then in here in the forum or somewhere. So join us on Discord, join us on Telegram, join us on YouTube. All right, so you don't uh, miss out on the information we send to you. Phase one, so that's the first start. I would start with installing Arclix XL, XL being the extra large, all the applications that are awesome are on the ISO that I use to develop Arch Linux. It's all there, GIMP and Inkscape and all that. So get to learn the Linux applications. As, as a noob, as a beginner, as a novice, you don't know what applications are good on Linux. So use the time to learn all these applications, use the time to update, to learn how to maintain, because every Linux system is different. Debian will be different commands. Install and remove applications, keyboard shortcuts, try to learn them already because we'll need it later on in other phases. Learn the aliases, learn about scale, terminal. We update our system. We have a nice PAMAC tool here. It's a graphical user interface, but we actually update in the terminal. So be comfortable in this little thing. Okay. So Download the Arclix XL ISO, do a clean install. I always recommend do a clean install for Windows, for Mac, for Linux. Get rid of everything and no problems with old home directories we're gonna 
mount again and all that. Don't do it. Permissions issues, all the rubbish of last installations, it's still in the dot config. Phase two. When you've learned to work with XFC and XFC settings and all that, maybe then it's time to try out another desktop. At this point in time, we're not sending you to tiling winner managers or we're not mixing desktops. Just choose another one, Mate, Gnome, everything gone again, do a clean install and learn again the keyboard bindings. You'll need them later on in the tiling winner managers. So it's a gradual goal and growth. One desktop, other desktops, and then we go to phase three. Maybe above, after all these, these uh, elements in phase one and two, you going to the, how you should, how should you call them? The lesser known desktops, all right? Open box maybe to be, a, might be an exception there, but all the rest is lesser known. And the tiling winner managers. I will keep on adding tiling winner managers to our, our list. And I will always come to the extended ISO. Extended is there to, promote tiling winner manager. So open box is the, the standard uh, you boot into, but you can actually go to awesome and Qtile, etc., etc. So here we download one Arclinx BI, so choose with one desktop. We're not mixing yet, right? We're not doing anything in Calamars to have extra stuff. We're really going gradual about this. It's a learning phase. You can do anything you like. Of course, it's freedom all around, but this is what I would suggest to somebody with asking me the question, hey, what's your approach? What's your look on the learning curve? What's the university curricula, right? Phase four, then we start mixing things. If you know all the different elements and the, and the folders and why things change and how they change and, and how icons and themes and all that in desktops and in tiling window managers, then you can mix things and see, okay, we can't mix this one, this desktop with that uh, other desktop and so on, because otherwise we'll mess up our menus and we really don't know what, what it is then, what uh, setting I'm changing. Is it the setting of desktop one or desktop two, etc., etc. So elements, by this time, you already know so much about your system phase four, you've already, uh, I don't know, months, maybe years, um, that you have tried out other desktops and other um, tiling window managers. So here with the Arclink Suite tool, for example, or inside the Calamars installer, you say, I want to have a combo of Plasma and Awesome. I'm just saying something, right? And then mix it. You will experience that some desktops will look off, that you say, hey, in Arclink's B, Mate, it looked like this. Now it's looking like that, right? You have to find the knowledge and that's what you're learning here in the previous phases, getting the knowledge, how to change each and one, each, each uh, desktop or each tiling with a manager. In phase five, we've not built anything yet, right? It's always download, download, download and clean install. In phase five, I say, okay, look, I know what I want, but when I download it, it has Firefox on it, and I want to have the Tor browser, or I want to have Min, or I want to have another editor, Genie on there, etc. So here you're gonna build the desktop you like with Arclinx B scripts. So the website here gives you the power to create your own personal ISO. If you know all the the desktops you want and if you know all the applications you've learned in the meantime you know exactly what you need we call it lego blocks right because it basically it feels like lego if you're building an iso because you want a piece of it a piece of that we want cups or we don't want cups and stuff like that bluetooth no bluetooth etc so it's all yeah mixing things choosing packages it's always a choice but this can be your choice build the Arclinx B ISO the way you think it should be, right? Your own, own personal ISO. We've moved Arclinx D 
to the phase six to, to vary at the almost at the rear end of, of our, our elements here because next one is the archway. Arclex D can be and was built for to have a bare version of Arclex, like six, seven, eight, nine, ten packages at the most of Arclex. All the rest is pure arch. So it's still Calamaris, it's still click, 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 graphical installed. In the meantime, Calamaris has become bigger in the sense that you can now say what you want to click. So you, you, you click elements like Bluetooth, I want that, and I want SEDM with awesome, boom, and it will be installed for you. But the original purpose was that you install a bare version and go about your business. I mean, a black screen, T2I, pseudo Pacman minus S, XFC4, XFC4 goodies, LightDM, system CTL, enable LightDM, LightDM GTK greeter, don't forget that one, and boom, you've got a system and it's all up to you to configure everything and all that. So that's the D, but if you can do that, you need all the knowledge that came before knowing the names, maintaining it, how to start services, etc, etc. And in phase seven, we're abandoning Calamars. We are going to say, we are going to install Arch Linux the Arch way, which means it's not our ISO anymore. You go download it in archlinux.org and you install it on BIOS, on UFI. But anyway, it's a command per command per command per command and you've got something in the end a working os which is still very bare there is no icons there's no themes there's nothing nice about it you still have to make all the configs and all the settings so that's the arch linux way of doing things again we advise do a clean install everywhere and then phase eight that's maybe for very very end in, in let's say and graduation time, I don't know, two years, three years, how long you do over such a project. But then you are thinking about, let's make an ISO from scratch. This is Carly. Carly 1 started years ago, and now we're at Carly 10. See it as binge watching all the issues, all the things we've solved. The way Carly 10 is now is because of all the work we've done years ago. So watch, watch and learn. There's lots of knowledge in there. And the ALCI is the idea, the what if, that we want to have an Arch Linux ISO as close as possible, but we don't like this face here. We don't like the Arch way. All this typing, all that. We want to have Calamaris. We want to click, 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 and we want to have an Arch Linux system. So this is a very condensed, uh, way of showing this is the least um, this is this is what you need to do for for a bare minimum to have a Calamaris uh, installing Arch Linux that's the bare minimum and this Carly just goes way much further like uh, I don't know China making packages and, and repositories online etc etc so that's your phase of phase eight well it's just for a happy few right who really say I want to make a distribution for myself or for friends or put it online or whatever it's it's there the knowledge is there we share it everything is transparent everything is online it's not hidden away you can have a look at our code and that's what we do that we that's what I what we say right go and look go and compare melt is the tool the application to actually uh, learn all right, so that's what I had in my head as a phase, learning phases, which means if this is what we are now saying you should do, right, between I'm making a, a quote in the air here, you choose whatever you want, of course, but that means that we need to change some of the things. So the learning path is phase one, that's Excel, that's um, XFCE, but it's basically the arclinks.com anything Linux related. I mean, the kernel is for everything. Design pff, can be applied everywhere, not even outside Arch Linux, conkeys or conkeys on Debian, on SUSE or whatever, right? So it's still very much for Linux. 
Arcnex D is where you choose the desktop and the desktops are described here. So you start off with any of these ISOs, XL, XS, XB, XD, or just an Arch Linux, that's your phase seven. So phase one, XFCE, phase two, all the rest of the desktops, phase three, all the rest of the desktops, if we can call OpenBox still a desktop, Okui, yes. And all the rest is styling winner managers. Well, not always, but okay, there are exceptions, but they're mixed, right? Desktops and uh, tiling winners in phase three. Phase four is then the Articlinks tweak tool. We have some videos and I'll add them to the list down here. No results found. Well, that's our work for the coming months. And on phase five, the Articlinks B, build it yourself. Why don't you know that? You can build it. Yeah. Anyway, you want to look if you want to make an the look like this, oh, go and set it, right? And on phase seven here is, did we skip here something? Let's have a look. Okay, we skipped something. So phase six is the Arcanix D variant. All the articles still need to be changed as well. And some of them have to be work in progress with, uh, need to be written still. So that's about the D ISO. And then you are going to do it with scripts or with calamars and uh, the DISO is where you start off. And phase seven is your arch wave installing, old computer, new computer, all the phases. And finally, you've got something in the end. Phase eight is referring again to, let's start building our own distribution based on Arch Linux. There's lots more that's going, it's in here, but okay, right. Just give you an idea. So you wanna build something of your own? Sure. There you go. This is really from scratch. And this is what we mean with binge watching. You can't build a Kali one. It's one of years ago. Uh, I could probably see it in the back end, but it's, it's like old information, right? But doesn't mean it's not important. It just means with the GitHub you have online, you can't build because the packages have changed like tremendously. So it's really is watch what we explain you. We're talking about Arconix version 19. So 2019 October with a hint of when all of this started, Carly. So a lot to see, a lot of knowledge online because we've, um, well, we've filmed everything. We've done everything step by step and we're now at Carly 10. All right, that concludes <clears throat> the idea that I have in my head and the um, result it will have in the uh, structure of our websites. And well, we'll need to make some more articles so that everything becomes clear and that the learning path is visible inside our websites. All right, cheers, have fun with our clicks. And if you can, I don't know if you uh, ever went to the university, but if you can, please guys donate because it's a lot of money keeping everything up and running, all the things we have to do. So there are two ways donating here or a Patreon, which is actually better for us in the sense that it's, um, it's a fixed amount we every, uh, get every month and it feels like that's the, the solid base that we have, right? It feels more like not an ad hoc, but a monthly uh, subscription or monthly, what do you say, um, support basically. So, right. So if you can, if you can afford, afford it, then um, would be greatly appreciated because all of this, like the seat host, everything is um, paid. Of course, there's nothing really free. There's always something, some catch, something to, um, to buy. All right. Have fun with Arcanlix. And yes, it's not university. And yes, it is. And no, no grade at the end, no diploma. <laughs> Cheers.